Hi, I'm Parmen, a grade 12 student at Loyalist Collegiate and Vocational Institute, or LCVI, in Kingston. At the end of March 2023, I organized a week-long event called Tech Talks, sponsored by Squist. Here's a bit more about what happened. Before we get into what inspired Tech Talks, here's the gist of the event. For the duration of one week, each lunch period, students got to hear from an expert or experts in a particular field of technology and then participate in a fun activity. There were also lots of chances to win prizes. And this was all made possible through the Society for Canadian Women in Science and Technology's Quantum Leaps Grant, a grant provided to students to help organize conferences to increase students' interests in STEM. As for what inspired this event, it was really just noticing that there aren't a ton of opportunities to learn about tech at schools, though this is changing. So through Tech Talks, I wanted to begin to address this gap at my school, LCVI. Now, onto a bit more detail about what the event entailed and how it turned out. We had over 60 attendees over the course of the five days of sessions. For our first day on Monday, we had our coding in Python workshop with Wendy Powley, a professor at Queen's School of Computing with over 25 years teaching uh, programming and other computer related subjects. The entire Monday session was super interactive with Wendy guiding students through the basics of drawing shapes using Python, the coding language. Students began learning the basics, but even more importantly, they started learning how to troubleshoot when their code wasn't working. Plus, Wendy had these awesome cheat sheets for students to use at the session and also to take with them on their programming journeys. On Tuesday, we had an interdisciplinary session, which was on biomedical computing, and it showed students how biology and technology can and often do interact. Our speakers were Dr. Amber Simpson, who is the Canada Research Chair in Biomedical Computing and Informatics and an Associate Professor at Queen's University, and also a graduate student, Caitlin Kobayashi. They led an absolutely fascinating session, and in the end, they had a fun kahoot for our attendees. The competition actually got pretty heated, but in a fun way. Um, as well, at the end, I saw an attendee actually go up to Amber and Caitlin and ask if they could share their slides because the attendee had found the session really interesting and valuable, and that was just really amazing to see. On Wednesday, we had our virtual reality session. Dr. Anil Ufuk Batmas, an assistant professor in the Computer Science and Software Engineering Department at Concordia University, taught students a bit about the amazing world of virtual reality and also talked about how students can get involved in the VR field in the future. After that talk, we headed down to our school gym to try on some VR headsets, courtesy of the Kingston Frontenac Public Library. Students were really excited to try on the headsets and they had lots of fun. And one of our teachers even got involved and tried a headset on. On our second to last day, we had a joint session on the topics of artificial intelligence and robotics, as well as the ethics of artificial intelligence. Though I don't like to pick favorites, I have to say this was definitely one of my favorite sessions because it explored both the positive and negative sides of tech and how we may be able to mitigate some of those negatives in the future. Up first, for our speakers, we had Ramsey Asfour, Associate Director at Ingenuity Labs at Queen's University, and Francesco Morado, a master's student at Ingenuity Labs at Queen's. They talked about AI and robotics, and also the applications of robotics in different contexts like search and rescue missions, as well as construction applications. Perhaps even more excitingly, they had brought along Spot the Robot Dog, which uh, Francesco has been using during his master's project. As soon as Spot came out, all the attendees got super excited and began taking videos and photos. There were also great questions coming from both students and teachers about Spot and its applications. For the next part of the session, 
we had Dr. Norma Moeller, an associate professor of sociology at Queen's University, and Christina Pilgrim, a master's student working with Norma. They focused on the ethics of artificial intelligence, as I mentioned, specifically from a discrimination point of view. Norma talked about the biases of AI in recruiting, predicting who's likely to commit future crimes, and more. Then Christina talked to us about her thesis project on artificial intelligence-based proctoring tools that are prone to discriminating against people of color and those who are neurodivergent. So overall, this session was absolutely jam-packed and it was just so fascinating exploring so many different sides of artificial intelligence. Finally, on Friday, we had a careers in tech panel with professionals from various fields to talk to students about their roles, what those entail, how to get involved in tech, and any other advice they had. Our panelists included Angela Crone, a software engineer at Google, Emily Ong, a user experience designer, Dr. Sarah Nabil, an assistant professor at Queen's and head of the Human Computer Interaction Design Studio, as well as Nicholas Graham, a professor at Queen's Computing, and um, he focuses on game development. We had lots of amazing advice going around. Our panelists talked about their typical days, the obstacles they faced, and super practical advice like how to know which role or field is the right one for you, as well as how to try to maintain work-life balance when you get into your career. All around, again, it was a fantastic session. And finally, we wrapped up the session as well as the entire event, all of Tech Talks, with a grand prize raffle. Organizing Tech Talks was a lot of fun and I learned a lot, so I wanted to share a few of the lessons I learned. First up, I was pleasantly surprised to learn that people are generally pretty open to speaking at events and also helping out with them. At first, when I went into organizing the event, I had the expectation that it would be really difficult to find speakers. In fact, thankfully, that really wasn't the case. There were a couple sessions where it was somewhat difficult to find people, but overall, people were super open, and that was really great to see. Second, on the promotion side of things, I learned that it is never too early to begin promoting. I began promoting Tech Talks about three weeks before the event. My initial plan was to start about four or five weeks before, and yep, I think it's a great idea to get started early just to make sure there's enough awareness around the event to make sure attendees, as many as possible, attend. Finally, um, I learned that it is a good idea to test out your tech well in advance of the event. Thankfully, this is something I actually think I did quite well. Um, I tested every little thing, whether it was checking that Zoom worked on our school network or making sure the projector was working, it was working with our audio, videos, all of that. It's just a great idea to check that to make sure that the event runs as smoothly as possible. As for what's next for me, I'm off to university next year, so I hope to continue running events like this and also combining these events with my passion for science communication in the future at university. I want to end by saying that this event would not have been possible without the support of Squist and of course um, the staff and student volunteers and our attendees. Thank you all so much.